So we're on our way to the attic in Broadway on, in Long Beach. We've been here once before, and it was, uh... oh, did you bring the mask? Oh, shoot, no. So we're on our way to the attic in Broadway on, in Long Beach. We've been here once before and it was, uh... oh, did you bring the mask? Oh shoot, no, they're in the car. Oh yeah, we need our mask. We're new to the area and we don't really know the customs. And uh, we're meeting up with my sister-in-law who is a tattoo artist. I'll put her link down there. This is my sister-in-law, Jay. <laughs> And uh, my niece. So we've been here once before and it was really good. Apparently they're known for their mac and cheese. They put like uh, hot Cheetos in it. So um, I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna get that again. So let's go ahead and uh, dig in. brought an extra sangria. They just made it and they offered it to us, so why the heck not? Anytime I see poutine on the menu, 99% of the time I get it. I had poutine for the first time when I went to Canada. I, I was shooting a short with uh, two members from the Degrassi show and they took us to the spot called Smoked Poutinery. They actually opened one in LA in a terrible location. So bad you had to pay for parking in this like dumpy area. And it only lasted like maybe not even a year. I went back to LA for this, uh, for E3, and I was like, I need to go to this place because poutine is just delicious. It was closed. I was so bummed, so bummed because it was so good. Dude, the first time I went to Canada with my family, I had just a regular cheese curd poutine from a bar. I just, I went to the local like bar and I was just like, do you guys have poutine? They're all like, of course like we have poutine. Everywhere. From what I know, Smokes is like, it's a chain restaurant. It's like the McDonald's yeah. of poutine. There are so many variations of different kinds of poutine and it was just really bomb and it was cool. And ever since then, anytime I see poutine anywhere, it's one of the first things I'll taste. It was the first time I had one with pastrami in it. And it was delicious. The one that you got at Smokes, wasn't it like the... Pepper. The, peppercorn. Peppercorn that had mushroom in it? Yeah, peppercorn and mushroom at Smokes and it was bomb. You want to try some of the poutine? Well, she just got nothing but cheese. Yeah, I know. Get some, get some pastrami in there. I think that pastrami's bomb. Once everything gets back to normal, I want to start like going to all those like packing districts and stuff like that. We've been to the packing district in Anaheim. We've been to the um, the military base in San, in San Diego. That one's really cool. The Liberty Station. It's really cool. The food lab. Yeah. It got like TikTok big. They have like a a New Orleans place that sells beignets. Oh, I've heard of blue balls. Oh, yeah. oh. I'm gonna go with that clam bake. Yes, it's perfect. It's actually uh, big enough for the table. It's three or four people, so it's good. So it's good enough for one big guy. Oh, yeah, bro. I can't <laughs> demolish it. Like, I just have to say that for legal purposes. Of course, man. Yeah, I'll take that thing.
So now I'm gonna dig into this clam bake. It's got andouille sausage, rice, and clams. That clam was delicious. And the rice too, underneath it, where they put the sausage, there's the crab meat. Oh really? Yeah, there's crab yeah. in there. Apparently there's crab in the rice. Hidden crab. That's the best crab. It's so fragrant. It was a lot of food. Delicious, the attic in Broadway. So we just finished eating. I'm so full. We're gonna try and go to the beach right now and get some footage, some drone footage, hopefully. It's already sunset and I'm a little late. So hopefully we can still get some cool footage. So I had to switch to my phone camera because I'm using the SLR to take a slow shutter shots of the lighthouse. So we'll see what that looks like in a bit. So unfortunately, the drone didn't take off. I don't have the right firmware. I didn't update the firmware before I came, so that was all on me. And I was getting a lot of mag interference, so I couldn't update it like on location. So I just had to settle for doing a really slow shutter speed of the little lighthouse right there, which is like glowing different colors. So the photos came out real cool, and I got a nice time lapse of the sunset going down behind it. So that'll have to do. That just means I'll have to come out again and uh, get what I wanted to get. So that's it for today, guys. Real quick, as I was getting to the parking lot, I realized that the Queen Mary was right here. You can't really see it too well, but that like banister of lights right there, that's uh, that's the Queen Mary. For people that don't know, it's supposedly supposed to be super haunted, so that's pretty cool. Maybe I can go there, what, Halloween? Halloween, we'll try and go there Halloween. I thought that was pretty cool. I saw it on the way when we were getting back into the car, so I thought I'd pop in and try and get some pictures. We're on like a deck and it's like moving, or a dock, we're on like a dock and it's like bouncing. So slow shutter's not ideal right here, but I'll show you what I got. So we're here to visit my sister-in-law and my niece because they live an hour away and we never see them. Tattoo artist and a regular artist. What do you specialize in? Oh. What do I specialize in? Just like tattoo wise or art wise? Both. Um, tattoo wise, I specialize in black work, and art wise, I specialize in yeah. realism, I guess. 